Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be revealing the first step into starting the murder mystery of Los Santos. And I'm also going to be giving you guys some more clues and hints at how the story could actually end. So if you do like videos like this, I definitely recommend you hit that subscribe button as I do daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. And I would hate for you guys to miss out on all my daily GTA 5 content. So that's right. This is the first old Fred acts nice, but it ain't so note that can be found in West Vinewood at the Gentry Manor Hotel. This is the first of four of these notes that are located around the city and you have to find them in order to unlock the second step. So there are three more carvings similar to this. One is hidden in Vinewood, the other one is hidden in Alta, and the other one is hidden in the downtown area. Now I actually have no idea where these are located, I only know their general location. Now there are four sets of clues in this. There's the cryptic messages that are carved on the walls throughout Los Santos. There's a dead body swimming with the fishes in the west coast of the water. A damning letter on the desk of a friend. And the fourth one, which is a mystery to all of us, which we're just going to have to find out about ourselves. So your first objective is to obviously find all of these carvings and then track down the sunken body off the west coast waters. After that, you're supposed to search for a damning letter on the desk of a friend. And once you've found that, only then will the whole, the final cold hard clue be discovered so really i am completely stumped on this murder mystery and i need your guys's help so definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you have any more future clues on where to find these notes i've only found one of four of the first step i've got to find three more cryptic messages find a floating body in the western coast of the water also need to discover a letter on a friend's desk and finally that will reveal to us the final clue which will solve the murder mystery and allow us to unlock the black and white film nowhere filter that can be used on our phone. So that is pretty epic. Like I said, this murder mystery is completely befuddling me and blowing my mind because I have no idea where to look for these messages. The only reason I was able to find the first one was because I was able to match it up with the photo that Rockstar provided with us and they haven't mentioned a single thing. Thing. This might be the toughest mystery to crack in Grand Theft Auto 5, and I most certainly need your help. So I've looked for about, I guess, 30 or 45 minutes right now with no luck after I found the first one. And really, I'm stuck because without finding these cryptic messages, I can't move on to part two, which is to find the dead body floating in the water. And I certainly can't move on to part three, which is to uncover the letter on a desk of a friend. So and without that, there's no way to even start to wanting to be able to solve this mystery. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I am at a loss for words for this. The murder mystery is blowing my mind and I can't seem to solve it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Also be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.